everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and the second New York Fashion Week vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. Well, we are back. We are, the, we are starting the second half of New York Fashion Week. Truly, this is the second day of shows and we are heading to the La Pointe show. If you would have watched the first New York Fashion Week vlog, you saw that I went to their studio and they are dressing me for their show. So I'm very excited about that. This is the look I chose. I'll show it to you in a moment. Um, after that, we're heading to Alice and Olivia presentation and maybe we'll pop into the Creed uh, fragrance party as well. They're releasing a new fragrance, I believe today, which is really fun. So let's just get into the vlog with my look. You guys, look at this eye I did. I, I, I'm trying something new. Since this this look is kind of like a icy purple lavender, I tried to do like a makeup look with a MAC palette. I'll put it down below. I have on my Bottega earrings, carrying my Jacquemus Sherling bag. Let me just show you the look and then we'll head out because my car is already here. All right guys, so here is the look. It's this like faux leather skirt with a very high slit and matching shirt. La Pointe is known for like their really cool monochromatic look. So they have a ton of pieces in these colors. Luckily my Bottega mules matched the look and my Jacquemus bag is more purple but still goes with the look. Bottega earrings, that is the look for today. Let's go to our first show.
guys, here's a little update. So we went to La Pointe. The show was fabulous. Usually she does like different things every season. And last season it was lots of just like monochrome colors, um, which I love. But this season there was a lot of sequins, a lot of black, like beautiful black um, patent leather thigh high boots and also silver boots. Um, a lot of silver sequins, like lots of black and lots of silver. There was a few colors in there every now and then, but mostly black and silver. So it was giving renaissance, like lots of the looks you could probably wear to a Beyonce concert. But yeah, it was really good. Everything was tailored to perfection. All the girls were there. Everyone was dressed lovely. And I really enjoyed the show. Um, afterwards, we headed over to Alice and Olivia. It was a show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just keeping it a buck. Like, I, I just, I don't know. Um, we got there at about like 4.30. And it was a presentation, so it was supposed to last two hours, but it was a very long line outside and they weren't letting anyone in. They were at capacity at like 4.30 and it was it was raining. And there were some people who had already said they had been waiting in line for an hour. So it just wasn't in our best interest to stand out there and like wait. So we ended up going to Dorado, getting some tacos, getting some work done. And now we're on the way to the Creed party to celebrate their latest fragrance. So that's the update. Let's go smell some fragrances. Let's party a little and let's go home and go to sleep. welcome to day two of the second New York Fashion Week vlog. Yesterday was so much fun. I really enjoyed the, the La Pointe show. It was everything. I already gave you guys a rundown with the black, the silver, the shiny um, patent leathers, the sequins. It was such a really cool show and everybody was there. Uh, and then afterwards we tried to get into Alice and Olivia but it just was not working. I'm so upset it's been i've been to like the last i want to say five shows they dressed me last year and i'm really upset that i didn't get to show you guys the fashion but i'm sure that they have videos up on their instagram and their social media so definitely head over there and check it out i was able to see other people's content and as always the fashions were fashioning they're good there's always just a couple, maybe like 10 pieces from every collection that I want. Um, last season it was uh, the, the buttery, rich, dark brown trench coat, which I am gonna get. <laughs> you wait and see, it's, it's happening. Uh, after that, we did go to the House of Creed party. They were celebrating their latest fragrance, so we had a good time there as well, just popped in and out. Um, and I did get a little gift, but as I stated before, I'm going to do a what I bought and what I got during during Fashion Month video. So it's already a lot, y'all. Like, I've gotten so many gift bags. The video is going to be good, so look out for it. Today, we are heading to a show. We're heading to the Collins show, and then we are going to the black and fashion room which i'm very excited about i i don't believe i've ever gone to black and fashion 
Um, it's usually about 10 black owned businesses and they set up um, down at Spring Studios where a majority of the New York Fashion Week shows happen. And there's quite a few brands that I know and love that are gonna be there. So I'm happy to show you guys the designs. Uh, and that's really it for today, which is great that it's a lighter day. I just got a YouTube video up for you guys today. It was a, a weekly vlog showing you some new Brooklyn in pieces. And currently my code is still good. You can use my code Monroe20 for $20 off of orders, $100 or more at Brooklyn. And so elevate your life with some good sheets, okay? You sleep 1.30 of life. It needs to be luxurious. But look at my look. This look is crazy. So I don't know if you guys remember when I went shopping at Burke Doris and Saks, I didn't actually show you guys what I got from Saks, um, but I got this Rick Owens top. It's so cool. It reminds me of uh, Missy Elliott, like, I can't stand the rain in my window. Beep, beep. Anywho. That's what it's giving. I love a little Rick though. I ended up pairing it with my Margiela jeans and my balloon Loewe sandals. Uh, that's going to be the look for today because it is raining. It's like been raining the last two days. And like I feel like this is like this is going to keep me dry. Perhaps. Plus I'm not doing much today so it should go well. Let's head into my clothes. We're going to pick a fragrance, an earring, a bag. I'll show you the full look. And then we're gonna head down to the shows. All right, guys, we're in my clothes. Um, I have been wearing the J Lo perfume to death. I'm a believer. Um, J Lo, if you want to sponsor me, this is the time. Like, reach out to your girl, holla at your girl, because this promise is the one and not the two. But I think today I'm feeling, I'm feeling alien esque. So perhaps I'm gonna wear one of my Mugler fragrances and I have a ton because I happen to be on Mugler's um, PR list. Uh, ooh, this one smells good. This is Angel, but aren't they all Angel? Oh, this is just regular Angel. This is Angel Elixir, which I believe is the latest one. I did a collab with them on this one. And this is Angel Nova. <sighs> so many choices. I think I'm going to go with regular Angel. By the way, Mugler bought me a star, y'all. I have a star in the sky. I need to find the paperwork for it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, earrings. Since I feel like uh, black and silver kind of hit better than black and gold we're gonna go with my new Tiffany chain link earrings that you would have seen in the previous New York Fashion Week vlog you guys last night I stayed up to 2 a.m. making <laughs> the brief for that video it is thick okay it was like two pages long and I was delirious by the time I was done so thank goodness my shows today start pretty late because I really want that video to go up on time. So yeah, we're going with the chain link. Um, I'm not carrying a bag. Maria's gonna carry the bag for me. So let me show you guys the look and we're off. Oh, although it's raining, fashion week is not fashion week unless you have on sunglasses. So I'll be <laughs> wearing these for photos. These are the YSL sunglasses with the silver rim. They also come in gold and they're actually pretty affordable for a designer sunglass. I do believe these are like $220. So if you're interested, I'll link them down below. You can definitely get them at My Teresa. Oh, by the way, the lip is Fenty MVP. If you see a red, this is the red I will be wearing <laughs> the entire time. All right, guys, here is the full look for today. Saint Laurent earrings, Fenty MVP lip, uh, Tiffany & Co earrings, Rick Owens top that I got from Saks on sale, Margiela slash jeans, and my favorite little Loewe balloon sandals. It's kind of a chill look because it's raining. I'm only going to two things, but probably one of my favorite looks so far of New York Fashion Week. Let's go.
All right, guys, we are back home. I'm so happy to be home, like, at this early of a time. It is 4.20. Uh, oh, it's 4.20. Hmm. Anywho, had a great day today. The first fashion show I went to was really great. I really loved all of the colors. Um, he's known for doing lots of colors, lots of fun prints, lots of um, color blocking and print mixing. I think my favorite pieces were the very structured like leather like blazers with studs um there was a purple one i believe there was a brown one there was one blazer that was a ton of different colors that was very structured and looked like some kind of like corduroy it was beautiful um and i loved all of the knit skirts as well you guys know i'm a knit kind of girl so that collection was really wonderful and then we popped on over to spring studios where they have most of the shows and we checked out the black in fashion showroom uh we got to see koi jewelry up close and personal i love the collection like everything is so stunning i'm definitely gonna try and get a piece for myself um, we saw a few other brands we saw fumi the label she had this beautiful like mini skirt with poofy sleeves and a stretchy kind of knit with buttons gorgeous i need that dress um but yeah everything we saw was stunning i will make sure to put all of the designers down in the description bar and you all can follow them on instagram and check them out <sighs> so now i'm gonna rest i'm gonna try and catch up on my stories because i'm a day behind um, I want to post some content on Instagram today. So yeah, I'm just going to relax for the rest of the evening and check in with you guys tomorrow. Um, I think I have a few shows in the evening tomorrow, so I'll take you all with me. But if you're enjoying the video thus far, give it all a thumbs up. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Hi, guys. So it is a brand new day. And I got a last minute show, which is Tiffany Brown. Um, she's a black designer, so I definitely wanted to go to the show. So we're in an Uber and we're heading down. But I had a shoot that I wanted to do this morning as well. So we're gonna kill two birds with one stone. We're gonna head down, we're gonna shoot a Dior Beauty campaign. You guys know I'm a Dior Beauty ambassador. Um, and they just came out with a new fragrance called Lore. It's a beautiful fragrance. So we're gonna shoot uh, a reel and some photos for that. And then we're gonna shoot my look that I'm wearing tomorrow um, for a show. And then the look that I'm wearing today for the Tiffany Brown show and for the Samantha B show, which I'm very excited to attend. You guys know I love Sammy B. Should be a really fun day and I will take you guys with me and show you some of behind the scenes of shooting this campaign we're gonna try and do it in 11 howard hotel because they have a cool little spiral staircase yeah so it should be fun maria's leaving tomorrow <laughs> so i have to kind of shoot some things in advance but this is the dress it is so stunning i've had this dress for a really long time um i can't remember the brand but i will put it down below in the description box but i wore this a long time ago like uh at the beach like right after we came out of the pandemic all right guys i will check in soon it's gonna be a fun day
right guys, so Maria and I quickly shot three things. We shot something for Dior Beauty and my look for today as well as my look for tomorrow. Um, now I'm headed to Spring Studios for the Tiffany Brown show. Um, it starts at 11, it's 11 now, but I have a seat um, and usually the shows start about 10 to 15 minutes late, so I feel pretty good. Um, the outfit for today, I'm wearing this top that I bought at uh, Century 21 when I did my little shopping trip. I'll actually just end up showing you guys the full look when I get back home because I have a huge break, so I'm heading home taking a little break before heading to Sammy B a show tonight but yeah before I head out to Sammy B I'll show you guys the full look you've already seen the montage but I'll give you the details so let's go ahead to Tiffany Brown from Tiffany Brown it was such a good show she did an amazing job uh, the collection was pretty much called blue so as you would have seen all of the pieces in the collection were blue like a powdery baby almost periwinkle blue um, and I really love the pieces especially the crochet knitted pieces um, there were a few of those she also had like denim jumpsuits and dresses that had um, almost like an acid wash that created the blue pattern. It was a really great show. I would definitely wear those pieces. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed it. Make sure to check her out. And now I'm back home. I already took off my outfit because I have to put it back on again anyway for a Sammy B show. Uh, but yeah, we had a really successful shoot. Shout out to Maria who has just been integral to <laughs> me surviving New York Fashion Week this season. It's a lot going on. But when I came home, I received a little gift from uh, Chandon. You know, we love a little bubbly. We love bubbles. So let's open this up together and see what is in here. There's a little note. It says, we're excited for you to try our limited edition Chandon Garden Spritz bonbons in partnership with Stick With Me Sweets paired alongside our ready to drink aperitif Chandon Garden Spritz. Brits. Amazing. Oh, and these are available for purchase from September 14th to the 17th. The Stick With Me Sweets. Very cool. So let's take a look. Here are the Stick With Me. These are little cards, I think. Let's open them. How cool. So here they are. Hopefully you can see. Sorry the light is going in and out. Um, welcome to our new garden, New York. Let's open, open, open. How cute! I love things like this. So this is artisanal chocolates and confections. Stick with me in New York. It looks like a little book. But I'm pretty sure you open it and it's... Oh, I'm about to eat one of these right now, y'all. I'm starving. My stomach is literally growling. Let's get in here. 
Oh, it smells so good. Look. Ooh, smells amazing. I've never um, heard of Stick With Me, but apparently it's uh, a New York um, store. But I love this little block box. I'm gonna keep this and put like my jewelry and things in it. I'll link them down below just in case you wanna check it out. But of course, we have a bottle here of the Shandong Garden Spritz. So maybe I'll pour like a little glass of this and then pop one of those little candies in it and drink it. That'll be how we close out New York Fashion Week. But shout out to the Shandong PR team for sending this. This is super sweet. All right, you guys, I have a little bit of work to do. I need to edit some photos, post to Instagram. I need to edit a reel so that I can post it later on today on the way to the show. Um, and I have to do a little meeting for tomorrow's newsletter. By the way, if you are not subscribed to my newsletter, it drops every Tuesday. There's always uh, like my favorite things, things that I've bought, um, bestsellers, sales that are happening, all of my coupon codes, any kind of events that I'm doing, um, sneak previews to any of the collections and collaborations that I'm doing. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. There is a link to my newsletter down below in the description bar, as well as in a pinned comment. By the way, I, ha I am having a meet and greet in New York City at the beginning of December. It will only be open to newsletter members and it will be a capped event. So if you want first dibs on that, make sure you are subscribed. All right, let's get to work. I'll check back in when we are about to head out to Samantha B's show. All right, guys, look of the day. You've already seen me shoot this look, but the top is by L. Me. I got it from Century 21 when I did my Century 21 shopping vlog. It's so cool. I love the little ties. It just gives it a little something extra. I ended up just uh, buttoning only the top button and leaving the rest open. Pretty cool. The skirt is super old from Jill Sonder. I actually believe I got this from Century 21 as well, like years ago. The shoes are my Loewe balloon sandals, which everyone has been loving these. And also I brought out my Loewe puzzle bag. This is new in, I got it at Vestiaire Collective, pre-loved. Um, it's the watermelon bag and it's just so fun. The lip is Fenty MVP. I've been wearing my hair up, but it's raining out and I just can't be bothered. So we're heading to the Sammy B show. I'm gonna wear my hair down. I'm gonna pop on an earring call a car, and we are out of here.
guys i think this is day three i'm not sure it's pretty early and i'm up doing a quick beat because i'm about to quickly shoot a campaign for mark fisher to um kind of get the buzz going for their fall selection so they sent me this really cute pair of boots here they are are they cute i love the color they are great for fall great for winter um they're buttery soft they look to be like beige but they're kind of like a beigey pink almost with the wooden heel so i'm gonna style these with a cute little like leather mini skirt in a burgundy color and an oversized sweater i'm gonna make a reel for them but i have to go out and shoot a cover photo so that's what i'm doing now today is pretty busy i have things back to back today and uh sorry guys um so yeah i'm doing a quick makeup look so i can take some cover photos for the real of course i'm using my dior rosy glow in cherry it's like my favorite right now it gives you such a pretty glow um by the way I am a Dior Beauty Ambassador and you can use my code Monroe23 for a free gift with purchase over $125. Alrighty. Yeah, but so far I'm having a great time at New York Fashion Week. The Sammy B show last night was super fun. I don't think I updated you guys on that. Um, I love these little wire bras that she does. They're so cool, they're moldable. She used to have them in black, but now she's making them in other colors and I really love that. Um, also, there was a really cute skirt with like letters dangling from it that I thought was really cool. Uh, Sammy is Jamaican, so she's always bringing like that Caribbean island culture into her clothing and I love that. Uh, it was a really fun collection and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get <laughs> quite a bit of things from it but everybody was at the show all of the girls Kayla um, Shauna uh, Tanya lots of us <laughs> um, yeah she was there and we all had a great time oh Brittany pockets and Post was there as well we had a good oh and I finally saw Gloria you guys I ne hardly ever see Gloria during New York Fashion Week because she mostly just does the weekend but yes finally I saw my girl Gloria she was in the previous vlog where we went to uh Baccarat for a high tea she looked amazing in this beautiful pink dress um you guys Gloria be ma makes her own clothes if you don't watch her channel definitely check her out but she's a very talented seamstress she can make things and um she's talking about you know creating a collection so go on over there to life with glory b check her out uh but yeah we had a good time we were dancing and you know i let my hair down literally i wore my hair down because i'm tired of it up <laughs> but today is a new day and we have a lot to do so let me hurry up because maria has a flight to catch we have to quickly shoot this look and I have to get ready to head to a presentation, a lunch, another presentation, and a show. And then I also have to film some content for a brand, so I'll check back in soon. All right, guys, just got my myself together. I'm wearing this super old, I believe it's either Boohoo or Nasty Gal top. It's an open back sweater, I wear it a lot. The skirt is from Kira. Um, I got it at Bergdorf's. The shoes are Magda Boutram, new win from my Teresa. Of course, again today, I'm rocking my Loewe uh, puzzle bag, the watermelon one. The earrings are Bottega, the sunglasses are and other stories. And I have on a little Dior lip glow gloss in the color Rosemary. It's really natural and beautiful. I decided today not to leave any tendrils down, going for a more sleek look today. Um, I'm heading to a lunch with Elemis. I'm gonna pop by Alexis Batar to check out their uh, presentation. You guys know I've been working with them. I have some earrings from them in a bag. Um, I do have a code with them. It's Monroe Steel 20, all lowercase letters for 20% off full price items. So I'll show you some new things in that they have and you can still use the code. Um, and then we might go to a fashion show. We'll see how I feel. I have a ton of packages coming in and I wanna be home to receive the packages because I don't have a doorman here in Harlem. 
and uh yeah the packages that are coming are all for work i'm doing a campaign with ukes i'm doing a campaign with farfetch um the outnet a few different like places and i need those packages all right guys so let's head out thank goodness element sent your girl an uber code the ubers are so astronomical i've literally spent like a thousand dollars on ubers alone so let's do it Just leaving the dinner at Palma with Elemis. It was such a good dinner. The place is so cute. I'm definitely going back there for like a date night. The food was incredible. We just had little bites of everything. I really love the um, the Pepe ravioli. So good. I'm gonna link the place down below because if you're in New York and you're looking for a cute little date spot, that's it. It's on Cornelia Street, which is one of the cutest streets in New York. So now I'm walking to see if I can get a taxi. Gonna head to Spring Studios for a show. Look how cute the street is. I love the village. It's so cute, but the apartments are tiny, you guys. Tiny for so much money. All right, I got some goodies. I'll show you what I got later.
the Pamela Rowland show. What did you think of the show? It was amazing. By the way, this is Trish. Hi, Trisha. Guys. I'll put her handle somewhere here or down. Hi guys. We're driving. I'm a <laughs> She's driving. I'm bumming a ride. But what did you think of the show? It was really good actually. The gowns are like amazing. I could definitely see some moments there. Yeah. And some, there was this gold dress. So Angela Bassett was there. And she there was, was. And there was this gold dress that I saw walk down. I was like, she should wear that somewhere. And she took a picture of it because she was sitting in front of me. Amazing. 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 So many good dresses for like occasions, yeah. like red carpets. Things like that. I can definitely see a lot of stars wearing these dresses for the Met Gala. But there were some everyday dresses too. Not really everyday, but everyday occasion wear. If you're not doing a carpet or you're, you're doing like an engagement party or something. Something for everyone for sure. There were tons of options too. It was, it was really great. Like the color, the use of color, the sparkle. It was just... Yeah, that was a mirror dress that was so cool. Oh my god, it was the so The whole good. dress was like like shards of like mirror glass. Beautiful. It was so good. Look, that was probably one of my favorites. Yeah. That and obviously the, the showstopper. showstopper. Yeah, like the, the dress that closed out the show was so beautiful. It had these purple feathers. Purple is in. I'm trying to tell y'all, purple is the seasons it's gonna be next year's hottest color like people are already kind of starting to get on a purple train but next spring purple like royal purple is the purple it's in because of her her hello point <laughs> outfit it's That's not the why. point yeah mm. all right guys so now i'm heading to alexis batara presentation and then we are done for the day but the lunch also, uh, I talked to you guys after lunch already, with Elemis was amazing. Like I'm still thinking about that pasta and I will be going back to that restaurant before I leave New York to go to Milan. So there's that. I will check in soon. Good morning guys it is the last day of new york fashion week i am exhausted and i'm so happy um actually the first new york fashion week video is going up today so i'm trying to rush home and get it up for you guys this afternoon because i think you're gonna love it ah! anywho i'm dressed and ready to head to the bruce glenn show they are twin brothers black owned business they do lots of fun colors you've seen me in a few of their pieces and then i'm heading to the nicole miller showroom to just check out their presentation and then we're coming home but let me show you my look i've been in my office all morning creating reels for like the last few looks of new york fashion week for you all let me show you the look because my uber is here and i don't want to be late all right guys hopefully you can see me this is the look i'm wearing the something by sanji paper bag james pants i'm wearing them in a medium the waist is super huge but you cinch it in with the belt and it creates this cool look it also has pockets i believe this is still available so check out something by sanji to get them um the top is new in from marnie i got this from ukes which has such a good collection of old season marnie discounted prices the earrings you would have seen in my fall trends haul it's from a brand on first dibs um they create these earrings and i will link them down below the, the sunnies are lou goldie I love the yellow lens. The lip is Fenty MVP. The bag is my Christian Dior in white with a little fringe. And I'm back in my Tamara Melon yellow sandals because they're super comfy and they're just fun. That is the look. Let's head to Bruce Glenn.
we're here. We're gonna check out Nicole Miller's um, presentation. So let's go. That is a wrap on New York Fashion Week. It was super fun. Uh, so today I headed to the Bruce Glenn show. All of the girls were there. The Yusufs, um, Kelly. I love Kelly Augustine. She's amazing. Um, and it was great. I love how they incorporate color. They're like one of the only brands that is so colorful and vibrant. I really love like the satin pieces with a top long sleeve and a beautiful skirt made out of different like shirts and things. I love that. And they also had one off the shoulder long sleeve dress and multi printed pattern pieces. Uh, and I love that they're size inclusive as well and pretty much body inclusive. Like every kind of body type you can imagine was on the runway. So yeah, shout out to them. They're always so sweet. Definitely support them. I think they're available at Saks. Um, and a few other places as well but check out Bruce Glenn if you've never checked them out and you love color uh, and then after that we pounced on over to Nicole Miller I love Nicole Miller I've been following her career for years I've gone to a few of her shows I've also um, gone to a few of her, her events and we got to go to her showroom check out and check out the latest collection which is actually a made to order collection because she wants to cut down on waste which is amazing. I love that. There were lots of sparkles, lots of feathers, um, really like occasion wear pieces that are made to order. And I think you get them in about five weeks. You can come in, you can have, you can be measured and have everything made to order for you. And I really, really love that about this collection. And I love that she's doing that. Um, they had cookies there. They had <laughs> sandwiches. They had a masseuse. And you better believe your girl got a massage and I needed it because wow. This has been a rough week. Your girl has been ripping and running, running and ripping, all the things. So yeah, I got a massage. I drank some of Nicole Miller's Rosé. She has a Rosé brand. She's had it for five years. The Rosé is amazing and incredible. Check out Nicole Miller. And now we're home and we are done. I have three campaigns that I need to edit and send by tomorrow. I have six campaigns I need to shoot by Monday. <laughs> Today's Thursday. No, is today Thursday? No, today's Wednesday. And I have six campaigns I need to shoot and three are due tomorrow that I need to edit. This is the busiest time of a content creator's career, especially if she is a fashion content creator. So if you have emailed me, you have DM'd me, um, you have left me a comment somewhere and I haven't responded, I probably won't for a month. Like it's just, it's just like that, I'm so sorry. But your girl is busy. Um, shout out to everyone I met during New York Fashion Week who came and said hello. I love meeting you all. You all are so supportive. Um, and I really just, I couldn't do this without you. So thank you so much. If you ever see me out in public, I don't bite. I want to talk to you. I want to love up on you the way you guys love up on me. So shout out to you if I met you. It was a pleasure. All right, guys. Everything you've seen in today's video is linked down below in the description bar. Use your girl's links. It helps your girl out with the brands. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to bounce out of here. You got to give me a thumbs up first, okay? And if you're new here, and you probably are, go ahead and subscribe. Join the fam. 
the goal is 200,000 by the end of this year. Let's do it. We can do it. I believe in us. I believe in you and me. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Joining your girl for another New York Fashion Week. Milan, here we come.